Hey y'all and welcome back to another video by Umbra's Darkness. In today's video I want to start it off with an apology. I know it's been a while since I've started or since I've recorded. But my dog chewed up my headphones and I was using a cheap gamer headphone set thing to do my recording and had no mic. Uh, today's my first test with a new mic so hopefully it all sounds good. With, uh, with that being said, we have a few special things planned for you guys today. Uh, we are going to be doing the $20 giveaway for 500 subscribers, uh, which was over a week ago now that that code word got out. Uh, then we're going to be doing the giveaway for 600 subscribers. Uh, with that, the keyword is going to be microphone, because why not? Uh, and we are going to be doing just like a health check. Uh, it's been about five to six weeks since I reached Queen 25. I figure some people would be interested in what I've been doing since then, where I think people should focus on Queen 25 development, things like that. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first off, I wanna say that once I got to Queen 25, I did the most obvious thing possible uh, and I got T9 carriers. I think that that should obviously and easily be your first focus once you get to queen 25 i will say if you are going uh down the carrier route it is like it, it the creature remains are not the most exhausting part about uh t9 carriers it is definitely the sand the last two levels of sturdy body and t9 carrier ants alone was like 250 mil sand it was or 220 mil actually uh it was insane so just make sure that you plan that out accordingly. If you're smart and you're working on them while you're working on getting Queen 25, maybe you won't be surprised like me, but that was the first thing I did. Uh, after that, I went ahead and I unlocked Insect Hatcher uh, because I keep insects going around the clock now. Uh, my insects hatch in about 10 hours, uh, as you can see, maybe 11 hours. Um, I keep those around the clock going. I plan on leveling these up uh, over the next couple of weeks. With that being said, the first building that I chose to level up after Queen 25 that wasn't involved with uh, T9 Ants was my resource buildings. Um, I obviously did not upgrade my meats. I didn't upgrade my waters. They don't matter. I upgraded my sand. I upgraded my wet soil and I upgraded my leaves. Um, I upgraded my aphids a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, they're only at 22. And then I topped that off with a healthy leveling of my cocoon mediums. Uh, I am finally at the point where I'm going to slow down on focusing on getting that ninth chest every build day and probably aim for just getting the third chest every build day. Uh, I'd rather spend the resources on evolutions and it's just not worth it for me. Um, that being said, it does take about, you know, a week, uh, to two weeks to level up all of your resource buildings to level 25 and your cocoon mediums to get a healthy level. So that, that was like two weeks for me after I got my T9 ants, which was another two weeks. Um, and then the last of it was just doing these stupid, silly tasks. As you can see, I only have the last task left and that's just my CDO preferences um, and leveling up my attack buildings, right? So I maxed out my troop tunnel and I maxed out my pro rally center. So that's where I went building wise, uh, evolutions. Again, I maxed out or I got T9 carrier ants and I keep evolutions going basically 24 seven. Now, anything that doesn't require creature remains I do on non evolution day. And then I save all my creature remains for evolution day. Um, Hopefully I'm done with everything that does not require creature remains here in the next month. Uh, that being said, I'm probably, before I go for T10 carrier ants, I'm actually uh, probably going to max out zone fight. Um, and I'm probably going to get T9 shooter ants before I get advanced combat uh, maxed out. That puts me behind T10 carrier ants uh, by a month. Y'all, I don't think that that's that big of a deal anymore. Uh, that's two KEs to have T9 shooter ants, to have really nice zone fight. I just, I can't justify 
waiting so long uh, to get those types of things. That being said, for special ants, um, I do have two max pro rallies or two max marches. As you can see, they're both over four mil power. Uh, I have no investment in these other ants, really, um, is what it is. I will likely, since I'm going to be doing T9 shooter ants, uh, max out this acid general whenever I get a dupe of him. Uh, I will max him out. Other than that, none of these other special ants interest me, so I won't be doing anything else inside of the war category. For the development special ants, I am going ham, you guys. I have maxed out stats as much as I can on my gold ants, as you can see. I even unlocked this one for Atreus Gladder, probably max that out over the next week or two. Crimson Healer, as you can see, I maxed out the one that requires Honeydew. Um, and then I'm just going down inside of the purple and blue ants, and I'm maxing out the skills that increase resources. My ladybugs here maxed almost the whole entire time. So that's where I'm spending my spores. That's how I'm doing it. Uh, I've been Queen 25 for about five, six weeks. And uh, I think the game's still a lot of fun. I think the game definitely changes once you get Queen 25 because you have a consistent amount of resources. You know, basically, like, this is how many resources I have for each day. This is what I'm going to do every day. So it does get kind of repetitive in that way. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys uh, see that. Um, I did also reach uh, five star on my skin. Uh, so for those that are Queen 25, it gets pretty easy uh, if you're early on in the server to get your Groundhog skin. And one orange skin or the Groundhog skin gets you uh, five star. I'm very close to six star, which will increase my Soldier Ant hatch speed by 20%. So I'm chucking away at that. Uh, I also allowed me to get the highest score that I've ever gotten in Gathering. Uh before so i got 324 million points in gathering uh and that was probably because of the five star skin uh so yeah i just wanted to show you guys where i was at what i do after six weeks of being queen 25 i think the game's still fun i think it's still enjoyable i'm pretty excited and interested to see if uh alliance expedition is going to work this time uh I've been having a blast playing the game, and I hope to release more content, you guys. Uh, without any further ado, we're going to be doing the giveaway for the 500 sub video. And again, the code word for the 600 uh, subscriber video is microphone. All right. All right, you guys. So uh, same drill as always. We are gonna go ahead and on stream live, right click, copy this, and then right click, paste right here. Uh, then we're gonna filter duplicate users. You only get to enter this one time. Uh, we can include replied comments, happy to do that. And then filter comments based off of specific text. We're gonna go into the description, right? Because anyone can do that. And we're gonna go ahead and copy this. And then we're gonna right click, copy this. And we are going to right click paste right here so that way everyone has the chance to do it. Uh, get YouTube comments. Looks like there's 34 of you guys. All right, all right, I like that. I like that 30 range that we're getting into. And um, we're gonna pick a random winner. All right, uh, Jordan Ray Quilleton. Ooh, hope I said that right. I apologize. I probably butchered your last name. Please contact me on Discord. My username is in the description below. Uh, or you can find me on the Worldwide Discord and message me there. Uh, congratulations on winning a $20 Google Play giveaway uh, gift card. Again, I apologize. It took me so long to get to you guys. I really needed a microphone. Uh, hopefully, I sound okay to you guys in this YouTube video. Let me know uh, in the description below. Uh, and again, the new giveaway for the $20 giveaway for the 600 subscribers, uh, the code word is microphone. And that one will be drawn this Friday, so it is a short turnaround for that. Uh, but we'll see who has the notifications on, who's interested in these types of videos. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, without any further ado, you guys, as always, catch me in the...
uh, the comment section down below. Find me on Discord, username in the description below, or on the worldwide Discord. Or, worst case scenario, as I always say, find me on server 174. Until next time, you guys, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Bye, y'all.